Hey, I might have found the cheapest one gigabit switch there is, and it's power saving, and it's compact, and it's smart, and it's cheap. Did I say cheap? So it's called Mercusys MS105G. It comes with five LAN ports. It has 10 gigabit switching power because it's not just half duplex, it's full duplex. So it can communicate forwards and backwards simultaneously at the same time. So it has 10 gigabit switching power, which is great. Five ports, you can use them, uh, one port for the uplink or use all those five ports just for switching, it's up to you. It has, um, uh, it has jumbo frames enabled, nine kilobytes. It has support for older uh, LAN connectivity like 10 megabit, 100 megabit and one gigabit speed. So if you have those old printers or something, IP cameras that use these lower uh, LAN connections, then you can use this box for that. So it looks great. Maybe let's open this box and see what is inside and how it works, how to connect it. So you can see there's a label, TP-Link three years warranty. So the warranty is covered by TP-Link, not Mercusys. It might be a system company, I don't know, but everyone knows what TP-Link is. So let's have a look what is inside. It's a tiny box, has all the specs written on the box and anything you might need to know about interface and features and LED lights and things like that. So you get your installation guide and you have your switch. This tiny little thing, it looks quite neat. It's very lightweight. You have five LAN ports, as we, as we discussed before. It has 10, 100 megabit and one gigabit connectivity for each port and each port can actually sustain two uh, gigabit speed if it's uh, up, up and down dual, du duplex. So what else is in the box? As you would expect, there's a charger and it is um, just a regular five volt. It's not a regular, it's really power efficient power supply. So it's five volts, 0 0.6 amps, three watts. So as I said before, it's really power efficient uh, solution. So if you want to add another port on your, on your switch, you could add this and it wouldn't cost you much on an energy bill. You may not see that now, but there are little LED lights. Uh, so when you connect your LAN ports based on what sort of device you connect it, if it's gigabit device, and there's gigabit cable available and everything is gigabit fast, you'll see a green light blinking when the data is being transferred forwards and backwards. If it's amber color, it means it's 10 or 100 megabit speed. How do you connect it? And where do you connect it? And when do you connect it? So you normally would connect that to any switch you have like already in your home environment or your router or anywhere literally where you have a LAN port. So it's like similar to USB splitter. So from one connection, you can have another five in this case. So normally you would connect it to the port one. That's usually uplink, but you can literally connect to any port you want when the other end connects to your switch or your a router. The other scenario could be a MIDI network, if you wish. If you want to have a NAS and two or three computers connected to it, your local private little network, not connected to the outside world, you could connect one port to the NAS, another port to the one PC, another PC, and that's it. You have your internal little uh, network. You'll need to set manual IPs, but it's possible. So you might have a few of the questions. So frequently asked question would be, is it backwards compatible? Yes, this is one gigabit switch, but also supports 100 megabit and 10 megabit connections. So you can mix it in any existing uh, network setup. Is this switch managed? And what's the difference between man managed and unmanaged? No, this is a simple plug and play unmanaged switch. What's the difference between these two? It will be that. If it's managed, you could set some sort of firewalls, um, DHCP, IP, automated um, 
addressing things but this one just relies on your router or on your existing smart switch so it is literally like a USB splits out adds an addish, additional LAN port for your network does it have any smart features it has a few things it has collision detection so if you connect one LAN port into part one port one and then port two and you just connect the switch to itself it's going to be smart enough to detect that you made a mistake like that also if you have any crossover cables it will be smart enough to detect that either is a simple basic cable or you have a crossover so it, it will recognize the cable and it has this power saving smart feature inside so whenever it's going to detect there's no traffic going through it's just going to lower that or disable that LAN port so there is no power sent to that particular port so you can save a little bit of an energy and the last question is it capable of 4k video streaming 8 megapixel cameras something like that yes one meg one gigabit LAN connection that's all you need for 4k or even even 8k if you wanted to so yes it's fast enough for your 4k's 8 megapixel cameras whatever you can think of, of any modern technology there is available so i run a few tests and it turns out that it does deliver it does work at one gigabit speed this little make you sys switch but um i also wanted to test how power power saving how power efficient are these um, switches the cheap ones so i was thinking to um compare it with netgear i have this netgear switch it's also a five port switch one gigabit very much the same as this one so they're similar but one is made of plastic one is made out of metal so this cools down quicker it stays cool it's heavier though and it seemingly it might feel like it might use more power but you always need to look at the power consumption on the label so both of these switches they run on 5 volts uh, power supply and uh, this one is 0.6 amperes this is 0.7 so I was thinking Netgear is actually going to use more power so it did run a few tests so I connected it without LAN ports so in standstill and I, I saw that Netgear runs around 0 0.3, 0 0.5 watts per hour. So that's really low. Whereas this one was running on average 0 0.5, 0 0.6 watts. So actually this one, without any use, actually used a tiny bit more power. In a grand scheme, these numbers we are talking, these watts, this is something you're not going to feel in real life in, in your electricity bill it's no point it's like a thousand the fraction of a cent <laughs> we're talking here but when you plug in all of the LAN ports so it's fully used all LAN ports are running at one gigabit speed that's when I realized that there is quite a difference Netgear switch was running at 0 0.3 maybe 0 0.5 0 point, 1.6 so it was running around 1.6 watts whereas this thing was running around 3 watts or 3.2 watts with all five uh, LAN ports connected at gigabit speed so this is where I realized actually that this switch and this switch they are both very different this one used half of the power it needs half of the power that this thing needs so if you need power efficient really energy saving uh, uh, switch not always you can trust a label or a website so Netgear is definitely going to use less power than any cheap Mercury or any other switch but again we are talking about fraction of a cent the difference if you have a server farm and you have hundreds of switches there that's where you notice the difference and in home environments maybe uh, the price difference between £20 and £7 makes all this difference if you're going to use it for three years this one pence difference a month might result in £7 or $7 over three to five years lifespan this has been a little video about this Mercusys switch which is probably the cheapest switch out there you can find that on Amazon if you want to you can use links underneath 
Uh, if you have one of these at yourself at home, you can make a comment underneath this video or if there's a blog article, you can do that in comment section and share your experience. Is it fast? Is it reliable? What are your thoughts about these cheap switches? Thank you for watching this. If you have questions, you can also go to Nask and Bears, fill the form, uh, ask the question and we can get back to you. Cheerio.